I'd like to welcome you to the Chamber of Commerce Legislative Luncheon. Bless this time in fellowship and help us to be truly thankful for our blessings. It's a annual event that we've been doing for many years now. Our members want the opportunity to interact with their elected officials, the high members of the, the chief officers and within government. But really they're elected members of parliament. It's, an it's a unique opportunity for them to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, exchange of ideas and an interaction. So that's the, that was the, the driving force behind it. This is something that everybody looks forward to and it's an opportunity to hear from the government uh, what, the, what the policies are, what the plans are. We often hear the question, who are we developing for? And while that is a very good question, the question we ask ourselves at DART is who are we investing in? Cayman's our home and we are committed to the vibrancy, the thriving and the sustainability of these islands. And today I think giving the plants out and encourage everyone to plant a tree, every little bit that we do together really helps. We are here to responsibly improve the quality of life for this and future generations of Caymanians. Broadly speaking, our vision is of a Cayman Islands that is held up as one of the most sustainable countries in the world. A trio of islands where all its citizens can thrive. A peaceful and prosperous place known for its resourcefulness, its diligence, its excellence, and its innovativeness. Quick wins is making sure that we move quickly to assess what our risks are to climate change issues and to be able to start implementing policies and standards. Um, the Chamber Council and staff would like to acknowledge and thank everyone for attending today's legislative luncheon. I thank you all, I thank you all, and I bid you farewell.